and uh, numeric displays. So I'm going to pull up my Studio 5000 program first. You should see everything on my screen here. And I'm going to show you my main routine that has already been built for this program specifically. So you'll see I have a cycle start bit here that's a Boolean. I have a enable light Boolean and enable heavy Boolean. And then I'm using one of my green push buttons on my suitcase. I got my red selector switch from my suitcase here as my counter reset. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. So my counter is back to zero over here. Then you'll see I have my uh, counter uh, zero is at 99 on the preset. And you'll see a five here on production light and a 15 here on production heavy and then a custom production number of 99. So what we're going to do is these custom production uh, production heavy and production light, those are dense uh, data integers. I'll uh, pull those up now. So production light, production heavy, and custom production. I'm going to go into my controller tags. So you'll see uh, right here, production heavy, production light, and then custom production. Now the data integers are going to be used in conjunction with the numeric input enables and numeric displays and our move bits within our program. So let's minimize this, and you can see going back to my program, all of our move functions have those numbers associated. So when these associated Booleans or these inputs enable those move functions, that will change our counter presets to whatever is in there. So enable light will add five to the preset, Product, or enable heavy will move 15 into the preset, and my green push button will move whatever my custom production is. Now custom production is going to be available on the HMI in the form of a numeric input enable bit, which we're getting into in a second. So since we're already online, we have all our bits up and running. I'm going to go into my factory talk view studio and I'm going to create a new one. So it'll pop up like this on default. Just change it to new. Make sure you change your PVP plus to 400, 600. And then I'm going to just going to call it production counter and then we can get started from there. Now this program does run a little slow. What I prefer to do when we're doing these programs is I build the programs first, and then I run them using toggle, control T, to test everything, which has already been tested. So this program, your green light will turn on, two seconds later, your red light will turn on, and then two seconds later, they will both unlatch, and our counter will go up by one, um, which represents a one complete cycle. So just to show you how that works. And then it goes off. And now our counter has gone up by one. And now I'm going to reset it with my red selector switch again back to zero. So that's how it works. Um, real simple, but we're going to integrate the HMI in place instead of being clicked on and toggling. Go back in here and see if we're open yet, which we are not. Anytime you're creating a new uh, folder or service, it'll pop up. Okay, so here we are. So remember, the very first thing you have to do in Factory Talk View Studio is you need to go down here to Factory Talk Links, and we need to set up the communication to our PLC. So it's thinking. Okay, now we're in communication setup. I'm going to double click on this. We have to create a shortcut, but we can just hit finish right here. We are creating a new configuration. So right here's our two devices, our PLC and our panel view. We need to add a shortcut. I just prefer to leave the name new shortcut. And then we want to link it to our PLC. I always like to make sure the new shortcut's still highlighted. When you're done here, all you do is hit apply. PLC's highlighted, new shortcut's highlighted, apply. Hit yes, and this is just a warning, okay? When you're done with that, always hit copy from design to runtime. That way, when we save later, it'll move over with our file. And then hit OK. You have to hit OK down at the bottom here. So then if we go into our displays, go to main, it's blank. So I need to get that cycle start, which is a momentary push button. So find momentary push button here. And then our uh, state, we're just going to call this one cycle start we're going to go to connections here 
and we are going to pull up that cycle start boolean bit now right here it always freezes sometimes so when you hit refresh all folders go to new shortcut online and then here's our bits we are online with here so that we're seeing which for some reason i am I'm not seeing our um, cycle start bit. So we're going to go into controller tags. And they got cycle start here. Okay, so it is here. We've proven that. So let's go back in here to factory talk and hit refresh all folders again. And I'm still not seeing it here. So what we're going to do is go into our programs and uh, see if we can't pull it up. Go under accumulator. No. Okay, so we're back. Had a small uh, issue here, so I'm going to share the screen again. All right, so we're back here. Um, I did find it, so. When we click on online, instead of just expanding it, just click on online and here's all the things that are in our active program in our PLC. So you'll see our cycle start, production heavy, custom production, all that stuff. So we're just gonna borrow them from there. So this is still our cycle start. So I'm gonna double click our cycle start to assign our tag here. And then there it is. So our cycle start is in place. So I'm gonna go back to momentary push button again then this one is going to be our, we're going to call this one our light, because this is going to um, enable our light cycle. So I'll actually call it run light. We'll go to connections, go back here, and we're already in online. So we're going to do enable light. Hit OK. Still on momentary push button. So then this one, I'm going to call this one run heavy. You name it, whatever you want. We go to connections. Then I'm going to go to enable heavy. That's our Boolean bit that's going to move the heavy load into the counter preset. And hit OK. Now we got to get into our uh, custom. Uh, and our numeric input enable for that. So if we go to over here, there's numeric input enable. And I'm just going to put this right here, nice and big. So I'm going to label it as custom run, or I'll call it run custom. And then I'm going to go to connections. See how this, we're just going to worry about this top one up here on the value. And then this is going to be custom production, which is our dent that we created earlier. Remember, it's in our move bit in here, custom production right here. So it's a, it's a dent. So that's what we're going to use for our numeric input enable. So custom production, apply, okay. And then we're going to use a numeric display to, as our counter. So we'll just leave it like this. We won't give it a name or nothing. But uh, we need this to be our counter uh, dot ACC. So to find which counter we used, which we used counter zero. So we're going to use the dot ACC for that. So if we go into factory talk, now we might have to run down here, find counter zero dot ACC. And we're going to use OK on that one. Now we have all of our tags linked up together. So since all of our computers are now networked together correctly, we can create our file, which we're going to go over here to application and create runtime application. So we're already in runtime, which is good. And it's called production counter, just like I want to call it. Always change runtime to runtime 8.0 and hit save and it's going to ask you, you sure you want to change these tags and blah, blah, blah. We're just going to hit yes. 
Once this gets done creating the file, we're going to go up to Tools. Take a second. All right, so now we're going to go to Tools. We're going to go to Transfer Utility. Then we need to highlight our uh, panel view plus 600. That's what we're moving them to. We are moving it to internal storage. But here we are not downloading VGHMI. We are downloading production counter. And it's downloading as saving to internal storage on panel view. Just hit download. Now it's moving it over to my panel view. All right. So I can just close here. I'll just minimize this. And now we're in our PLC program. So I'm going to go over here to my HMI screen and I'm just going to do some stuff with my push buttons here. And I got to load my application. Hang on. Doing this in real time. Okay, so on your HMI screen, you're just going to hit load application. Find productioncounter.mer, select it, hit load, and hit yes when it asks, are you sure? It's going to take a second to load, but once it gets loaded, you're just going to click on run application. So mine is done, so I'm going to hit run application. Now my HMI screen looks just like it did on my builder, except for there it is. So my counter now says zero on there on my display. So now I'm going to hit cycle start on my HMI. Now both my lights are on. Now they're both off. As you can see, and our counter went up by one. Do it one more time. Light one's on. Light two's on. On for three seconds. Off. Counter goes up by one. Now check this out. Our preset's 99. So say I want to go ahead and make that zero on my preset just for giggles. Pay attention to this custom production. I'm going to hit uh, run custom and then a number pad is going to pop on my HMI. I'm going to type in, let's just say I want to make it zero and hit enter. Now see how that changed to zero over here. Now I'm going to hit my green push button and it's going to make my preset on my counter zero. But now I'm going to click on, I'm going to click run light on the HMI. Now it moved five into my counter preset. So if I hit run heavy, which is, the, is linked to the enable heavy bit, it's going to move this 15 into that preset. See what I'm saying? So now our pre counter preset is 15. So we're essentially using buttons on the HMI, these three buttons, or these two buttons here on the HMI to move five or 15 into our counter preset. I'm going to make it, I'm going to hit run light again. Now we're at five again up here. So now our custom production is still at zero. So say I, I hit my run custom on my HMI and I type in 150 and then enter. See how that 150 changed over here without me having to do anything in the PLC program is because I did it on the HMI. Now I have to hit my green push button to move that 150 into my counter preset. Watch up here on my counter zero. Hit the green button now. It changed to 150. These move functions will move whatever you have in source A to your destination or source to destination. So if my source and custom production is 150, I enable it with that green push button, destination becomes 150. Same concept over here. I hit enable heavy or run heavy. On the HMI, it'll, it'll enact enable heavy and moves 15 into my preset. So now I can only run through the cycle 15 times total. So that's all this is. I can't really show you what the HMI screen looks like because I don't have a camera, but this is, it just looks the exact same as what's up right here, except for these ends or zeros, or actually a two now on my display because it's linked to my counter.acc. But I just wanted to do a quick run through and show you guys how to do something like this, what we're going to be doing today in class. Thanks everybody, and you have a wonderful day.